Hey guys, so very exciting. We have the best iPhone up against the best Samsung. Now the iPhone design is a bit boring because it's almost identical to last year. But in terms of the internals, it's a huge, huge improvement. So the battery is nearly a thousand capacity larger. Uh, the chipset's a lot faster. And we also have improved cameras on the back. But of course the Galaxy is an excellent all-rounder. Now in terms of boot up, we have Advantage for the Samsung. All right guys, now for the specs. The Samsung is a larger display and also a higher resolution. Now on the front, the iPhone has an additional camera, which is 3D. And on the back, the Samsung has an extra lens, which is also 3D. Now the Samsung supports micro SD. And it also has a larger battery. The Samsung also has triple the RAM. Now the Samsung has the S Pen. And it also has 5G. Both phones are water resistant. Now at the bottom we have a lightning port for Type-C. And unfortunately no headphone jacks. And on the back both are glass. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, can do it. Reddit. Samsung. eBay. Samsung. Spotify. iPhone. YouTube. Samsung. Instagram. So for basic apps, we have a slight advantage for the Samsung. That one was the iPhone. Amazon. Samsung. And photos. Okay, so now for gaming. So for the basic apps, it's more about software optimization. Uh, iOS versus Android. But for gaming, it's more about the chipset. So, at least for here, we have a really nice advantage for the A13. Jump run. Temple run, a nice advantage here for the Samsung. Asphalt. Advantage for the iPhone. And now for the big one, we have Fortnite. So guys, the results for this are gonna be a bit weird. So, whenever you reboot the iPhone, it takes an extremely, extremely long time to optimize. So you guys are gonna see uh, in a few seconds. So you guys saw the Samsung extremely faster optimizing. Now, there was not just a large update installed. Uh, this happens every single time. All right, so the Samsung is up. And again, guys, if you restart your iPhone, it takes an extremely long time to optimize.
All right, so finally the iPhone is up. Now guys, what we're gonna do after this is we're going to uh, close the app, go back in, because again, it takes a really long time only if you restart your phone. It's still definitely, uh, you know, frustrating that it takes that long. All right, so now we're gonna close out. It didn't used to be like this on the older version of the app. All right, so connecting on both. Samsung is up. Well, not quite up, but we have the option to play. All right, now this part, uh, the iPhone is pretty quick with. So yeah, under this circumstance, the iPhone's a bit faster, but uh, you know guys, if you're restarting your phone, it really takes a while. So in terms of gaming overall, uh, maybe a slight advantage for the iPhone because it did win more of the apps. But that said guys, if you're really into Fortnite, uh, if you restart your phone a lot, then advantage for the Samsung. Okay, so next up, we have Deep Bench. And we'll run this in a few. Time now for Chrome. And it's in the correct web history. IGN.com. Samsung. INDB.com And pretty close there Samsung.com Samsung Apple.com And again, pretty close. Uh, overall, we have a narrow advantage here for the Samsung. Underwater, no copyright. And now for the speakers. Now both phones are dual speakers. So first you have the iPhone. Samsung. Back to iPhone. Samsung. And my son, though. Yeah, I think I give a minor edge here for the Samsung. All right, so now for battery. So check back in a couple hours.
All right, so three hours in, let's check in. So, 1% advantage here for the iPhone. So now we have Face ID versus the Fingerprint. So overall, pretty close. Uh, maybe the Samsung by a few milliseconds. But yeah, I mean, it really has to do with whether you prefer Face ID or the Fingerprint. Because for both these phones, these are the only options. Uh, aside from, of course, like your pin and stuff like that. So next will be a RAM. Now the Samsung is three times as much RAM. But I'll say guys, the iPhone is extremely well optimized. So yeah, for iOS, I mean, you don't need 12 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it would be nice if they put in more than four, but um, at least for my test, guys, it does a really good job. Instagram. iFunny. Amazon. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, no restarts. Uh, we still have to go to the gaming section. But so far, no restarts and extremely quick response time. PUBG. Oops, messed that one up. But it doesn't matter. It's uh, obviously extremely quick for both. Temp run. Excellent. You know, for past iPhone models, a lot of times they would show a picture at first. Uh, it would be like frozen for like half a second, a second. But it looks like for this, okay, so there, I mean, you saw it for like a fraction of a second, but uh, obviously it's really, really, very quick here. And Fortnite. All right, so next up we have Geekbench. Okay, so Advantage here for the iPhone and the A13. So, not for camera speed. And we have the Asus ROG phone, uh, ROG 2 phone here. Uh, next phone to do a comparison with. And in terms of camera speed, we have a slight advantage here for the iPhone. Next year, we'll get the front cameras. And now for we'll get the rear cameras. And the stabilization. And now for the wide angle lenses. Also look at the maximum zoom. And here's a look at the fourth cam on the Samsung, which blurs the background.
All right, guys, so let me know in the comments below which one won. So I think the results are pretty similar. Uh, it really comes down to what you prefer, either iOS or Android. But I will say, I mean, this is the best that the iPhone has ever done uh, for any of my